so there's a texture and pattern we're going for on the wall. We're going to be using Venetian plaster for this. Um, and then you just mix it before you start anything. This tub, it comes in a white colour. And this white colour is the base coat we've used for the wall here. Now I'm going to add my own dye. All you have to do is literally just add a bit of colour into the Venetian, mix it together, and that is the base. And this is the colour I'm going to be going for on the feature wall here. Um, I've got myself a little Venetian trowel, a new one from Nella. And this side and this angle is going to help me get into all the different shapes. What I'm trying to do is add the plaster but without disturbing too much of the tape. Now the base coat is going to be crucial um, so I need to make sure there's not going to be too much plaster on the tape because when it comes to peeling off I don't want it to rip the plaster away. So I'm really taking my time here to stay within the lines and stay within the boxes. Now when you're applying Venetian plaster you want to have lots of movement, lots of little semicircles, lots of arches, anything that feels natural as in there's no straight lines we're just trying to add as much movement and texture to this as possible. So again, just taking the time, working within the lines that I've created, and then trying to leave t as little amount of plaster on the tape as possible. Because like I said, we're going to come to a point where we're going to be ripping this off. That's the scary bit. <laughs> That's the first coat done. Now what you want to do is wait a day. You've got to wait for it to dry. And then you add another layer directly on top of it. No primer, but this time it's a lot tighter. So you want a lot thinner mix. And what you'll see is, especially with darker colours, it dries almost instantly. So it's starting to change colour, and it's starting to get that texture come through. Again, lots of movement, lots of little arches, lots of little circles. I'm going over the tape this time, because the texture in the coat is so thin, it doesn't really matter. Now, what you want to do is come back on yourself and polish the first part of the wall that you did. thing is, with Venetian, because it dries so fast, you want to be polishing it as you go. So I'm going to treat this wall in four quarters. Come back to the first quarter to give it a quick polish. Then I come back on myself. Make sure I've polished it up nicely. And then at the end we're going to polish it all together. So you apply that. Apply in sections until you get to a point where you've applied your final section here. I'm in my last quarter of application. Going to the bottom right quarter of the wall. And as you can see, just keeping that structure and overlapping on the sections that I've already applied previously. And again, like I said, I'm coming all over the tape. I'll show you how to get remove that in a minute. So I've done that, I've applied this last sap part of the wall. And then what you want to do is burnish, back, come back together, polish it all together. Burnishing is basically another word for polishing, by the way. So this is a section I've just applied. It's had a bit of time to dry. Now once you've got it all on, we're going to polish it all together. The whole wall now gets a good polish and now you can see it's starting to get shiny. Starting to get a, that texture starting to come through. Now do you remember the tape? Ah, this is a cool bit. <laughs> Just as I've finished polishing, I want to be taking the tape off. So I don't want it to be completely dry because I don't want it to tear what's in place. So now that pattern is starting to come through. That's the pattern I was going for here, we've got a tile effect on the walls, I'm just going to give it all one final polish, one final burnish, and really bring them textures through. Now I've got to wait for that to dry again, wait another day roughly, or maybe 8 hours, just got to wait sure it's completely dry before we do the final part. What we're going to do now is wax it, this is going to make it one, it's going to make it waterproof and a bit more resilient to any danger or attacks on the walls. Now what you do is just take a little bit of time and you rub it in. The problem is this stuff is quite grainy so you want to take it, come back on yourself and make sure you rubbed it in properly. You don't want any residue showing, I've done that the first time, it's not good to deal with. So make sure it's all rubbed in and make sure that plaster's really taken it in for itself. You literally just apply it in small little circles and then once you've done that you want to buffer it up. Now I've just got little buffering pads that you stick onto your combi drill. I didn't want too big of a pads because I wanted to stay within the lines. I don't want to Come on the outside, I don't want to polish the inside of the lines, I want the white sections to be matte. But now what happens, you can really see that gloss and it's really starting to pop. And it's really easy a section, you just want to apply a lot of pressure behind the drill, push behind it and what it is is just going to really buff it up and leave a nice lovely finish. Shiny, it's now waterproof and it's that's your final finish there all done. You can see the light bouncing off it, you can see all the textures now really pounding through. So that is full way to get your Venetian plaster feature wall done.
you enjoyed this video and want to watch the full version on how to do Venetian plastering from start to finish, click this video on the left here and subscribe on the right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.